It seems like China are doing it at a fraction of the cost. Maybe. We don't know. They are equally cagey about their numbers. And it looks like the bigger hoo-ha was about Deep Sea Car 1, supposedly very cheap to release. But it looks like, and again, this is all speculative, it was based off ChatGPT models. So they piggybacked on the back of a ChatGPT model, did some tuning on it, and then came out with something which did cost a lot less because they'd already borrowed an awful lot of ChatGPT or they'd reverse engineered it. China has the main issue they have now is chips. So they are trying to very quickly catch up in the chip world. Huawei and the Huawei Ascend chips are their main push here. They've released something which is like NVLink. So it allows them to cluster chips now up to 15,000, I think, GPUs. And they're also working on a alternative to CUDA, which is an NVIDIA proprietary technology, which really helps with training. I've forgotten the name, but they have a version of CUDA as well, an open source version, actually. So a lot of their money is going into that. Beijing has banned the purchase of NVIDIA chips, so it forces the Chinese tech companies to go with domestic chips now. So that's going to be an interesting little fight that's going on.